counting is underway in an election to choose who will be Iran's president for the next four years. Polling stations stayed open an extra five hours to deal with the high turnout. State TV is reporting around 80% of the 50 million eligible voters cast their ballots. And it's announcing constant updates. Former nuclear negotiator Hassan Rouhani has a clear lead. He's considered a reformist among the other candidates and needs 50% plus one vote to avoid a runoff. And he's well ahead of this man, the mayor of Tehran, Mohammad Bagher Ghalibov. As results continue to be counted, the conservative nuclear negotiator Saeed Jalili has dropped to fourth place. Many reform-minded Iranians say they're tired of the years of Western-imposed sanctions over the country's nuclear program. Surely this current situation should be changed. You know how tough it is for people. People suffer from high prices. Due to increasing prices and unemployment, our youths have gone astray. It's getting worse and worse. I want sanctions to be lifted. Many voters are looking to Rouhani as a way of having their voices heard. He was the head of the influential Supreme National Security Council and became a nuclear envoy in 2003. Despite the numbers favouring Hassan Rouhani early in the count, he's being cautious. In light of what happened in 2009 when some candidates declared victory before all of the ballots were counted, he's waiting until the Guardian Council approves any official results before making a statement. It's the supreme leader who has real power in Iran, but a win for Rouhani would not be insignificant either. It would make room for a more moderate voice on Iran's political stage and put a candidate in power who says he wants to reach out to the West. And Soraya joins us now live from Tehran. So just over 30% of the votes have been counted, but is it surprising that Rouhani is just so far ahead right now? Perhaps the lead that we're seeing right now from these early results, this early vote counting, is a little bit surprising. It was really picked by analysts and by polls that it would be a very close race between Rouhani and the mayor of Tehran, Mohammed Bagher Ghalibov, those figures that you mentioned before. They do show a very significant lead for Rouhani, the only cleric running in the race. Uh, he's considered the only moderate. He has reformist backing as well. But if you go back a few weeks to when they announced their candidacy, this result was even more of a surprise. Rouhani wasn't really considered a serious contender. It was considered more of a, a, a conservative election, one that would be fought out between the hardliners, not the reformists, because there was a lot of voter apathy between, uh, amongst that young crowd and those reformist voters, whether or not they'd actually come out and participate. And, of course, Rouhani was appealing to that sector to get any of these votes. Within the last 72 hours of last week, his campaign really did pick up speed, and we did see that reflected in polls that he was... Uh, that he had overtaken people like Saeed Jalili, Iran's chief nuclear negotiator, the mayor of Tehran, Mohammed Bagher Ghalibov. So it was reflected in these polls recently, but going back a couple of weeks ago, would have been a huge surprise to anybody that Hassan Rouhani would have a lead like this. All right, Soraya, many thanks indeed. Soraya Leni reporting live there from uh, Tehran.